The bruise is starting to come up a little bit, huh? I got caught with, I, t I took my guard down for about one second and got caught with one good punch in the eye. But uh, hey, I didn't cut. Um, pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty clean besides that one shot. I was going to say, with uh, some of the facial expressions before the fight and at the weigh-in, I thought I actually wrote, I thought your head was going to explode. You're intense coming into this thing. Um, you know, intense, that's me. You know what I mean? I'm always going to be intense. I'm always going to bring it to the cage and, um, you know, uh, my, my, my striking coach, Tony Palafox, really got me pumped for this one. I said, Diego, I, that fight in London, that wasn't you. You're, you're king of the cage. You're, you're back in the king of the cage days. You, that, that, that Diego from New Mexico, that's, just kick his ass. Yeah. And so I, 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 I thought about that and I said, yeah, you know what, this guy doesn't fight good coming, uh, going backwards and I'm going to have to put him back and, and use ring generalship and, and establish my jab and, and see what I could do with him right off the bat. And, you know, I hurt him with some uppercuts. Um, I landed some some vicious knees that I was like, okay, man. I was like, I was just waiting. I was like, okay, he's gonna drop now. Okay, he's gonna drop. Okay, he's gonna drop. And then finally, I landed the kick, and I was like, okay, he dropped. Now I'm gonna jump on him and finish. And um, he, like, how much respect I could have for another fighter than Clay is. Huh? You know, the guy is, is is a machine. Guy got up in like two seconds when you look like you had a head kick knockout. Uh, he's incredible. How, what was? Tell people what it's like when you get in one of those slugfests right at the beginning of a fight and you're just both throwing wildly. What, like, what's going through your head? Are you like, God, I hope I don't get hit? Or, yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> Send them money. No, um, you know, it's just, you know, the, the game is, is, is evolving, ever evolving. And, uh, you know, you cannot win MMA fights by wrestling anymore. Yeah. You cannot re just take a guy down and lay on top of a guy and try to, like, hit a guy. You know, you, you got to be effective. You gotta go for the finish, go for the kill, and um, we're all evolving. And um, you know, it's just it's an interesting time in the sport to watch the evolution process. And you you watch me on my Ultimate Fighter days. I was I was a totally different fighter now. You think you would just destroy yourself now back then? Um, You'd have a tough time as just a wrestler with the you was know, a, your striking. Was I, was, I was I was I was a big guy, but I still would. I I, I I'd, have, I'd have to choke myself out. That's a good point. I'd have to choke myself. I, out. I forgot about the fact that you were 185 pounds back then. 185, but hey, I put my weight back on. I'm still 180, cutting down to 55s now. So I'm still about the same size, just about as strong. Nice. So, where do you want to go from here? Because uh, we talked the other day. Obviously, you want a title shot, but. With the way things work, I mean, you know, the, the title might not be available for nine months, ten months. So, who do you, who would you want? Um, you know what? In the interim, I want, I want a title shot. I want BJ or Florian. That's it. Yeah. I'll wait for my title shot, and I'll work my butt off. I'm gonna work every day, and go back into camp. I'm gonna work on my footwork. I'm gonna work on my angles. I'm gonna work on my submissions, my my wrestling. Everything. I want to just be the best that I could possibly be when I enter that cage. And so, yeah, I want the title shot. If I have to wait, I'll wait. But because the way I look at it, if you do some MMA math, um, the only other top guy would be Gray Manyard, who really isn't a seller. And the only other guy moved up now recently you know, is maybe Frank Edgar. Yeah, but Gray Manyard holds a win over Frank Edgar. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nate Diaz holds a win over Gray Manyard. Mm -hmm. And. Guida holds a win over Nate Diaz. So if you really do the math, it puts me as the number one contender. And you are sellable. Hey, I'm <laughs> doing my best. I'm doing my best. You're still with uh, your lady? Still going or not? Are you? Uh... Um, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually single now. Uh oh. And um, you know, it has nothing to do with, um, nothing to do with anything, but, but me and. After this fight, it's possibly going to be going for the title shot. And, you know, that's my time and, and energy is going to be 100% into to going after my dream. There's going to be a lot of time in my life to, to go to do other things. But right now, my focus is going to be primarily on, on um, getting in there and, and, and fighting Clay Guida, walk, getting through Clay Guida and earning a title shot. And I got all kinds of great things planned, uh, a training trip in Brazil. Um, the Abu Dhabi camp is going to be phenomenal with Jacare, Salo, Sanji, uh, Hani Yaya, Kron Gracie, and, and, and me and 
uh, some other amazing ground fighters, the best in the world. And um, I'm going to get ready and I'm going to train hard and um, just get ready for whatever UFC it gives me. And if, say, something happens and BJ is not ready to defend his title and he vacates, Diego Sanchez is going to be right there saying, Joe Silva, let's, let's get it, homie. Let's get it. Bring Kenny Florian one more time. Let's do this. All right, Diego. Thanks, man. Good luck. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.